In the last video on this resin printer project, I showed my progress up until I made the syringe extruder. I decided that it would be better to jump right into testing the system on a 3D printer rather than using a 3D printing pen as that would never really work well. So to test the system on a printer, I designed a nozzle mounting plate that has a barb to connect to the extruder on one side and a nozzle mount on the other. After this was printed out of PETG, I removed the support material and mounted it to the printer. I wired the motor on the extruder in place of the printer's normal stepper motor and then set the hot end to the side. This was still wired because I couldn't find an easy way to bypass the printer only printing if the nozzle was the right temperature. This way it heats up and tells the printer that it's the right temperature without causing any issues. I measured the inside diameter of the syringe and the diameter of the drive wheel to find the extrusion multiplier that I needed to set in the slicer to have it extrude the right amount of resin. And then I was ready to test. Almost. I designed these mounts to support UV LEDs and then printed them and glued the magnets in place. The glue I used expanded and pushed the magnets out of the recess, but that didn't end up being a huge problem. Quick note. If you want to see future updates on this and other projects, please subscribe, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe. Thanks. This is the first test. As you can see, it didn't go well. First, the lighting system broke, so I had to try a UV flashlight, but this also didn't work. It ended up not working anyway, because the stepper motor didn't have enough power to pump the resin due to the friction in the syringe. Additionally, the extremely large cross-sectional area of the syringe would require significant micro-stepping to have the precision required, lowering the torque even more. To solve this, I got these 10 milliliter syringes that would allow for more precise movements and would require less force to depress. I redesigned the extruder to use these syringes and incorporated improvements over the last version of the syringe extruder. It actually clamps the syringe in place and it locks the plunger of the syringe to the slide of the extruder. This looked very promising because the stepper motor had enough torque to move the syringe and the locking syringe clamp was a lot better than the previous design. I then fixed the UV lights so I could run another test. So this also didn't really work. The lights didn't cure the resin. The extruder appeared to work but there is a worryingly long delay between the motor moving and the resin coming out of the nozzle. There seems to be significant elasticity in the system. I could fix this with a direct extruder mounting the syringe on the printer itself but this would be heavy and difficult with larger resin quantities so I don't really want to do that. Not sure what my next steps will be as far as the extruder goes but I do have a plan for the lighting system. This video is short, but I am uploading it to give an update on my progress and ask for advice. I'm planning on mounting a laser that is aimed right onto the nozzle to cure the resin effectively instantaneously. Of course, I will close the printer if I implement this. If anyone has any advice for improving any part of the system, please comment down below. Also, if you want future updates to this or any other project again, please subscribe, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe. Thanks.